Hi friends, today I would like to talk about the greatness of our mother India. Someone calls India is a poor country, but my dear friends, you never try to know why it was called poor by someone. India was the richest country in the universe, rich in culture, rich in scientific technology, rich in architecture and rich in wealth. It was invaded by Mughals, Portugal, French, British and many other local kings. They took everything from here but not the culture. We may not be the best country but it is not the worst either. I am making this video as a token of my deep love and respect towards my country. Let's uh, get into our video. At first, I would like to talk about Sanskrit. Sanskrit was the classical language of India other than Hebrew and Latin. It is the oldest, most scientific, systematic language in the world. It became the language of all cultured people in India and in the countries that were influenced by India. Sanskrit literally means refined or perfected. The Vedas are the oldest written text on our planet today. They date back to the beginning of Indian civilization and uh, are the earliest literary records of the human mind. They have been passed through oral tradition for over 10,000 years and first appeared in written form between 2,500 uh, to 5,000 years ago. Veda means knowledge in Sanskrit. The ancient wisdom in this land, Rig Veda, knowledge of hymns, which contains 10,859 verses. Ezurveda, knowledge of liturgy, contains 3,988 verses. Samaveda, knowledge of classical music, which contains 1,549 verses. Ayurveda, knowledge of medicine, which contains over 1 lakh verses. Upanishad Jyotishya, it talks about uh, astrology and astronomy. Siksha, which talks about phonetics. Aitharya, which talks about creation of the universe and uh, man evaluation, etc. Chandogya, which talks about reincarnation and soul. Dhanurveda, signs of uh, archery and war. Sulubha Sutra, knowledge of mathematics. Yoga Sutra, knowledge of meditation. Kama Sutra, knowledge of love and sex. Indian theory of continued fraction was discovered by Bhaskaracharya too. Arithmetic progression is explained in Yajur Veda. Positive and negative numbers and their calculations were explained first by Brahma Gupta in his book uh, Brahmasputa Siddhanta. The value of pi was first calculated by Bhaudhyana and he explained the concept of what is known as Pythagorean theorem. He discovered this in the 6th century long before then European mathematicians. This was uh, validated by British scholars in 1999. Algebra, trigonometry and calculus came from this land. Quadratic equations were propounded by Siddhacharya in the 11th century. Maharshi Shushruta is the father of surgery. 2600 years ago, he and his health scientists of his time conducted complicated surgeries like caesareans, 
cataract, artificial limbs, fractures, urinary stones, and uh, even plastic surgery. Uses of anesthesia was well known in ancient India. Over 125 surgical equipments were used. The world famous and priceless Kohonur diamond, which is set in the crown of British monarch, was acquired from India. According to the Gemological Institute of America, up until 1896, India was the only source for diamonds to the world. The mind game chess was invented in India. The world's first grand temple is the Brihadiswara temple at Tanjavur in Tamil Nadu. The Sikra is made from a single 80 ton piece of granite. Really, how wonder it is at the time. The origin of Kung Fu begins with the legend of a monk named Bodhidharma, also known as Tamo, who traveled from India to China around 500 AD. Once Albert Einstein said, we owe a lot to the Indians who taught us how to count without which no worthwhile scientific discovery could have been made. In another context, Hu Xi, the former ambassador of China to USA, once he too quoted, India conquered and dominated China culturally for 20 years without ever having to send a single soldier across its border. India never invaded any country in the history. It is the only society in the world which has never known slavery. India was the richest country on the earth until the time of British. India has 5,000 years old ancient civilization. In this country, 325 languages are spoken, but 18 languages are recognized officially. India got recognition as world's largest democracy. Today, the entire world is looking at India in the fields of IT, biotechnology and space. In this globalized era, India became the largest English-speaking nation in the world. And India is the second largest pool of scientists and engineers in the world. For me, India is one among the best countries in the world. We may not be so many advances in technology, education, living standards, richness, etc. But we have some other things which the other countries don't have. And these unique qualities are very much necessary for every person on this earth. Our manners, way of communicating with one another are one of the important components which differentiate us from others. Even though we have accepted modern means of living, improved our lifestyle, still, still our values and beliefs remain unchanged. In this situation, as an Indian, we should know about what is our real status in the entire world. I think I make myself clear. Proud to be an Indian because you are an Indian. Thank you very much. You were Santosh Kumar Karimilli.